it's hard enough trying to get work experience in healthcare, but with the current COVID-19 situation, things just got even harder with lots of your work experience and volunteering placements being cancelled. So in this video, I'm going to give you my advice on things that you can do. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron. I'm a junior doctor working in London and graduated from Cambridge University two years ago. This video is part two of a series of videos that I'm doing to give you my advice on different steps of the application process into medicine. If you haven't checked out my previous videos on the personal statement, then please go check it out. So in this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the work experience part of your application. For most of us, work experience becomes a bit more of a tick box exercise where even after we've finished our work experience, we start to think, have I done enough? Somebody else did this, someone did that. And what we'll actually see is that there's some really useful resources that most people don't know about from UK medical schools and the medical schools council, which is the kind of body that looks after all the UK medical schools on what they recommend for work experience, what actually counts as work experience, and things that you can do if you can't get the work experience that you really want to. And that's probably most of you in the current COVID-19 situation. So let's jump straight into it. This is going to be the structure of the video. Firstly, we're going to talk about the three main reasons why work experience is so important. Secondly, we're going to talk about what the medical council says in terms of what counts as work experience, what kind of work experience is recommended, and things like how long you should do your work experience for. And finally, we'll be going through things you can do specifically if you haven't managed to secure the work experience that you really want to. So feel free to jump straight to this bit if your plans have been affected by COVID-19. Everything is time stamped below in the description, so feel free to jump to any particular part. So for now, let's jump straight into it and talk about the three main reasons why work experience is so important. So number one, it lets you realise whether a career in medicine is really for you. Do you like the day-to-day -day life of being a junior doctor? And if it is something that interests you, you're much more likely to put in the time and hard work and take your application really seriously. Number two, so that you can mention your work experience in your personal statement. Remember, the personal statement is your only way of showing the admissions team before your interview that you really understand what a career in medicine involves. So make sure you drop in highlights of your work experience in your personal statement. So especially things like qualities of a good doctor, like empathy, communication skills or teamwork. And finally, reason number three is so that you can reflect on your work experience and explain to them in the interview about the lessons that you've learned. Medical schools are really, really big on reflection. I was lucky enough to sit on the Cambridge Medical School interview panel and I still remember this student who changed the entire vibe of her interview with one snippet where she reflected on a work experience. When asked about any difficulties she anticipated about being a junior doctor, she told us about one of her work experience examples where she was shadowing a junior doctor on call on a really, really busy shift. And at the end of the shift, the doctor turned to her and said, medicine can be really, really tough. Make sure that you think about it before you commit to something like medicine. And what was really impressive was the way she managed to reflect on this and she told us that one day she really wants to be the kind of junior doctor that has a really busy shift, but turns around to her work experience student and says, yes, medicine can be really tough. I'm aware of the challenges, but it's a really, really rewarding career. It's really exciting and I fully recommend it. So yeah, make the most of your work experience as it forms a big, big part of your interview and your work experience is unique to you. So now let's talk about recommended work experience. This is what the Medical Schools Council says on their website about work experience. Work experience can be any activity that allows you to demonstrate that you have, number one, had people-focused experience of providing care or support to others. Number two, develop some of the qualities essential to being a good doctor, such as communication skills. And number three, a realistic understanding of the demands of what a career in medicine involves. So if you look at that closely, there are actually lots of possible experiences that meet those three criteria. Typically, people think of work experience as only one of two things, work experience in a GP surgery or work experience in hospital. But other things that I think are just as valuable and actually more interesting and help you stand out could include volunteering in your hospital admin team, for example, the complaints team. And this allows you to see the patient's perspective. You could volunteer or be part of St. John's Ambulance where you could develop your communication and first aid skills. You could do some volunteering in your hospice to find out a bit about end of life care and pain management, volunteering in your residential home where you can work with the elderly patients or working with kids, for example, in a nursery. And I think it's nice to do both of these to show that you can compare the similarities and differences of working between two extreme age groups. You can also do some volunteering or work in a lab where you find out about the research side of medicine 
and then also volunteer or work in a pharmacy to find out about the medication side of things. So that's just a few ideas. Now on to kind of how long you have to spend at each of these kind of work experience places. And some people spend a few hours there, some people spend weeks and weeks. It really comes down to what you can get out of the time that you spend there and how you can show this to your interviewers. Like for example, I literally spent half a day in a research lab as part of my upper sixth. And then I spent months and months every Sunday volunteering at my local residential home. And actually in my interviews, all of them were so much more interested in my time in the research lab. I think they thought it was kind of cool, kind of interesting, kind of up to date. I literally had no idea what they were doing there, but it made me sound kind of smart, so it worked out well. Now on to how to make the most out of your work experience. Very simple, on the way back home from your work experience or your volunteering placement, write down one thing that really stood out to you, one a day, that's all. It could be a patient with a rare diagnosis, it could be the way a doctor broke some bad news about a scan result to a patient, it could be watching a scan or a procedure that a patient had that was quite interesting to you. Just one a day, and after that, you'll have a good variety of things to pick out for your personal statement and your interview. Okay, so this section is particularly in relation to the current COVID-19 situation, as I know lots of you have probably had your work experience and volunteering placements completely cancelled. Hopefully, some of the volunteering things I mentioned earlier, like in a lab or in a hospice, become more accessible to you earlier than the more obvious healthcare placements. In the meantime, a few things to definitely consider are online resources that give you an idea of what healthcare life is really like. And most of them are quite official and have been set up by medical schools and the Royal Colleges. So for example, Brighton and Sussex Medical School have put together a completely free virtual online work experience platform where you can go through it at your own pace. It shows you the structure of the NHS and talks you through six different medical specialties. And another great free online resource is Observe GP. It's been made by the Royal College of GPs and talks you through the different roles of people at a general practice. Remember, literally the entire world has been affected in one way or another by COVID and medical schools are fully aware that your opportunities to do work experience and volunteering have been affected. So I'm sure that they will take this into account but hopefully you find those two online resources useful. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you found that useful in terms of planning and making the most out of your work experience. Just to summarize what we've covered, we first talked about the three main reasons why work experience is so important. We've then looked at what counts as work experience according to the Medical Schools Council, what kind of things we recommend and also how long your work experience should be. And then finally, we talked about some of the alternative online resources that you should definitely consider. I think the most important thing to take away from all of this is that what you did is just a small part of your work experience story and actually what you learned and how you communicate it is what really matters. These are just some of my thoughts on what worked for me. I really hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, if you found it useful, then please leave a thumbs up, comment below, and please subscribe to the channel. All the best with the application process, guys, and I will see you in the next video.